The actor Richard Dreyfuss has denied exposing himself to a female writer helping him with a TV script in the 1980s. Dreyfus told the New York Magazine blog Vulture he flirted with and even kissed Los Angeles writer Jessica Tietch over several years but thought it was a consensual seduction ritual. The fact that I did not get it, he said, makes me reassess every relationship I have ever thought was playful and mutual. Tietch told Vulture she met Dreyfus at a theater where she worked and they spent hours together over several years after she was hired to develop a script for an ABC comedy special. The actor, she said, made continual, overt and lewd comments and invitations but she never told anyone. Dreyfus, now 70, said Tietch was a friend of more than 30 years. In 1987, Tietch said, she was summoned to his trailer on the set of one of Dreyfus' films and he exposed his genitals to her. On Saturday Dreyfus' agent, Barry McPherson, said his client denied ever exposing himself to Tietch. Regarding other encounters with Th. Dreyfus said he was now horrified and bewildered to discover that it wasn't consensual. Th. said she decided to speak out after Dreyfus tweeted support for his son, Harry, after the younger Dreyfus went public with accusations that the actor Kevin Spacey groped his crotch when he was 18. Kevin Spacey assaulted my son, says former TV news anchor, video in Massachusetts. Prosecutors said on Friday they would meet with the son of a former Boston TV news anchor who said Spacey yearly assaulted the teenage boy at a Nantucket restaurant. The Cape and Islands District Attorney, Michael O'Keefe, told the Boston Globe the meeting will occur soon. Heather Unruh told reporters on Wednesday that Spacey stuck his hand down her then 18-year-old son's pants and grabbed his genitals in July 2016. Unruh said Spacey left to use the bathroom and when he was out of sight, her son ran away. Spacey's lawyer did not immediately return an email seeking comment. The actor apologized for one of many recent allegations against him but attracted criticism for conflating that apology with a public announcement concerning his duality.